what's going on to all of my leaders of the old school who are all with me in the Fox Sports Fantasy Football League. All right. It is your color commentator once again bringing you the Week 10 recap. Going to tell you the matches. Going to let you know where everybody stands in the league. So let's get this ball rolling. First matchup I'm going to talk about is between what you expect and Texas Fire. This match is very interesting because uh, what you expect got the victory with the, one of the lowest scores in the league. I guess you could say the lowest score this week to get a victory. And better not do it again because I'm sure this won't, you won't have this type of luck anymore. Ever, 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 ever in your fantasy career. Okay? He gets the win over Texas Fire, 54 to 42. Key people in this matchup. Russell Wilson with 16 points. Yes, 16 points. And for Texas Fire, the key player in this, in your team lineup was Andy Dalton. I'm sorry to say you even had him in your lineup because he got you negative 6 points. Almost as bad as Phillip Rivers did to me that time when he went against Miami. He had got me negative 6 points. But anyway... What's crazy is, if you didn't have those negative points, you only would have needed less than 10 points. You had a less than 10 point difference. So if you had like any other quarterback that played probably, you probably would have won. Sorry to say it like that, but that's what it is. Second matchup, we got the Kings Street Wildcats going up against the Peach Hill Tigers. And this is another close matchup. King Street Wildcats run away with the victory by four points. Key player for the King Street Wildcats, Ben Roethlisberger, 13 points. Yes, believe it, 13 points. And for Peach Hill Tigers, Denard Robinson, 17 points. Now you're talking, now you're talking. It just wasn't enough. You needed four more points. Maybe if you had like 21 points, at least tied. Anyway, next matchup. We got the Rough Riders riding hard all over Team Ramum. 88-70. to 70. Another pretty close victory. You know what I'm saying? This one was about 18 points. The key players in this game, in this matchup, we have Jamal Charles with 17 points. But the Rough Riders came through on Monday night when they were losing with the Philadelphia Defense, 33 points, baby, 33 points. Came through with the victory. Bam! I know somebody's feelings was hurt that night. I don't like to lose like that. Not on Monday night. Anyway, next matchup, we've got Top Flight going up against Dome Records. And Top Flight showed why that their security agency is the best. Top flight security, baby. <laughs> 116 to 99. Now, the key players in this matchup are Des Bryant, who came through with 27 points for top flight, and Justin Forsett, who came through with 23 points for the Dome Records. It just wasn't enough. You needed more people in your squad to come through real strong, like Justin, you know what I mean? Now, in the last matchup, it is I, too hot for TV, with the highest score in the league, going up against A-Town Jack, who had like the third highest score in the league. You know, we was, um, you know what I'm saying, we was battling, you know what I'm saying. I didn't think, I didn't know if I was going to win or not, you know what I'm saying. But one of the um, key people to help me win was Aaron Rodgers. I probably should have put like LaShawn McCoy since he played Monday night, came through with that nice little, you know, little edge, little victory, help me out with some points. But, like I said, Aaron Rodgers got me 48 points and Marshawn Lynch got the A-Town Jags 40 points. So, that's how that goes. And the matchup, or should I say the rankings, I'm sorry, rankings in the league are as follows. In first place, even though she lost, she's still in first place. A-Town Jags with a record of 7-3. I am in second place. Too hot for TV with a record of 6-4. and four. 
Also with a record of 6 and 4, we have in third place the Rough Riders. Steady rising up the charts, I see. Alright, alright. Slow your roll though, slow your roll though. In fourth place, we got What'd You Expect? Like I said, record of 6 and 4. And Texas Fire in fifth place, record of 6 and 4. With a record of 5 and 5, we've got Peach Hill Tigers in sixth place and Top Flight in seventh place. We've got Team Ramblem in 8th place with a record of 4 and 6. In ninth place, we've got King Street Wildcats with a record of 3 and 7. And bringing up the rear in 10th place, we got the Dome Wreckers, a record of 2 and 8. Now, I hope you all are paying attention. I hope you like the recap. I will see you all after week 11 to let you know what happened in the league. I hope y'all paying attention. It's almost playoff time. Peace.